his intentions were to come here to harm male blacks. And, um, you know, we're very fortunate that it stopped at one and it, and it wasn't more. That's what New York City police are saying about Maryland native James Jackson, who turned himself into police earlier this week. Police arrested and charged him with second degree murder as a hate crime for the death of 66 year old Timothy Kaufman, who was picking up bottles on the side of the street when police say Jackson attacked him with a small sword. According to charging documents, quote, Mr. Jackson regarded the killing as practice prior to going to Times Square to kill additional black men. Based on certain information, it appears that this subject has been harboring these types of feelings for quite some time. Uh, he had in statements he had made, which I'm not going to get specific to. Uh, it's well over 10 years that he has been harboring these feelings of hate towards male blacks. According to charging documents, quote, Mr. Jackson had come to New York from Maryland several days earlier for the purpose of killing black men and had stalked numerous potential victims, was angered by black men mixing with white women. Uh, the reason why he picked New York is because it's the media capital of the world and uh, he wanted to make a statement. Jackson grew up in Towson. His family still lives there, but had no comment today about the charges against him. A neighbor says they are a nice family, and James Jackson used to mow lawns in the neighborhood before going into the Army. He served as a military intelligence analyst for three years and was deployed to Afghanistan during that time. Investigators are delving into Jackson's background, including searching his Hamden home. We have detectives from the NYPD down in uh, Maryland speaking to his family, associates, and anybody that uh, he could be linked to. In court today, Jackson's lawyer suggested that he might be suffering from a mental illness. Reporting live in Hamden, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News. Kim,